The prosecution's propofol expert, Dr. Stephen Schaefer, is back on the stand and spent the entire morning really debunking all the defense's theories on what may have happened to Michael Jackson the day he died. The first theory is one the defense really says it's no longer using, but the fact that Michael Jackson swallowed the propofol himself. Dr. Schaefer says there are several studies over the course of a couple of decades that say this would have had no effect, and he's kind of surprised that the defense's propofol expert even considered this as a possibility. Take a listen. Then Dr. Schaefer started bringing forward some diagrams looking at propofol concentrations. And based on the level of propofol that was found in Michael Jackson's blood the day he died, Dr. Schaefer was able to rule out several scenarios, and they mainly center around injections. Dr. Schaefer said, Dr. Murray, if he only gave him 25 milligrams of propofol, that wouldn't be the plausible scenario based on Michael Jackson's blood concentration with propofol. If Dr. Murray gave him a 100 milligram injection, well, that wouldn't have been possible either. Dr. Schaefer is going to take the stand again after the break, and then the defense is going to get its chance to cross-examine the propofol expert. And we'll have a wrap-up for you coming up tonight on the KTLA News at 6 o'clock. In downtown, Brandy Hit, KTLA 5 News. The pro prosecution's propofol expert spends another entire day on the stand in the Conrad Murray Michael Jackson death trial. Coming up from downtown, the IV exhibit he put on for the jury, and also how he tried to discredit every defense theory. The prosecution's propofol expert spent the entire day trying to discredit each defense theory and death theory that's been presented by Conrad Murray's defense. Then he delivered his own theory. Now, the defense's own propofol expert, Dr. Paul White, is a colleague of Dr. Schaefer's, and I overheard him in the hallway today say how disappointed he was in Dr. Schaefer's testimony. The defense will have a chance likely to cross-examine him when court resumes tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles, Brandy Hitt, KTLA 5 News. Brandy, thank you.